<laughs> All the time. I'm never going to stop crying. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so awesome. <laughs> so, there's some help there for you. <laughs> and if you need a, an implement of destruction, I have one. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. You got it. Should I read this out loud? You can read it out loud. You can read it to yourself. We aren't going anywhere. Dear Miss Phillips, you were officially accepted to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry on April 17, 2003. When we received no owl from you, we assumed that you had declined your admission to our institution. It has since come to our attention <laughs> that, due to a mix-up with the spelling of your name, your letter of admission never reached you. It is with simultaneous apologies and congratulations that we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry again. Because our error has put your magical training nine years past due, several generous faculty, staff, and even students have sponsored your tuition to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. This sponsorship includes your tuition, travel expenses, equipment, room and board, and a generous allowance for personal comforts. Please find enclosed a list of necessary books and equipment, all of which is paid for. Equipment not sent with this letter will be ready for pickup by you in various shops and Diagon Alley. Please note that while regular term begins on September 1st, you will be required to attend a one week long summer remedial course prior to attending Hogwarts. The summer course details are also enclosed. However, due to our constantly changing faculty, the exact course date is presently undecided. However, we believe it will be sometime in early June. We will confirm your appointment by the end of winter. We await your owl by no later than January 31st. With tremendous apologies for the inconvenience, yours sincerely, I think that's supposed to say, yeah, Minerva McGonagall, Deputy Headmistress. P.S. I found some muggle currency while cleaning my office, as I have no use for it. Please find it enclosed in what I can only assume is an appropriate muggle envelope.
my goodness, Benjamins. I haven't seen these since I graduated. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Thank you guys so much. This is the biggest wad of cash I've held in my hand. <laughs> Probably since I graduated. <laughs> find this paper. You really want to know? Did you make it? I, I've had that paper since high school when my art teacher gave it to me. I've been saving it for a special occasion. Director of Hardcover Books, Professor Emeritus of English, Springer Spaniels, and former head boy of Hogwarts. I wish you all the best, and I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. I wish you a full recovery, and please know that your entire family loves you. Yeah, I know. You guys are so great. Kimberly Sweet, Director of Department of Magical Law Enforcement. Former top or former head girl of Hogwarts, and former Gryffindor prefect. I am so sorry for everything you've been through. I hope the thought of attending your summer course with Joseph by your side will keep you highly motivated during your extensive recovery. Keep your head up, remain strong, enjoy your summer course. Chris Howie, mysterious former headmaster of Hogwarts and professor emeritus of bearded magical programming. Don't do that. That's what he asked for. <laughs> oh, I need a tissue. Tell me, bro. Of course you do. That's by the It should be by this one. There we go. Oh, that's the tissue. Oh, thank you. It magically appeared. Kelsey, by the way, I'm with Charles, but you've met Jan. That was cute. Yeah, he came to help out. There you go. Maybe I'll read it later, because it's a lot. Magical cephalopods, archivist of enchanted tattoos, and former head girl and alumna of Hapapa. <laughs> when you were born, my first words to you were, You are what I always wanted. 
You are an amazing person and I am so happy and proud to be your mom. I love you. David Phillips, Chief Brewmaster of the Hogshead, <laughs> owner of Butterbeer Cheer and Cheese, and captain of the 1979 Ravenclaw Quidditch Cup winner. <laughs> You're Ravenclaw, Dan? Yes. Make Gryffindor proud. I will. Emily Kordaleski, House of... Wait, Con That's from Dermstrong. Con Scene Dermstrong Institute. Cha Cha of Root Board and Soups, the Lincoln <laughs> Cauldron. I'm wishing you the best of health and a speedy recovery with love. Um, Here's the backside. Okay. This goes on and on. Yes. Paul and Joanna Dubio. Co heads of the Department of Christmas Tree Disposal <laughs> and loud classical rock flashing from windows. We are so happy that you are doing better and wish you all the best for a continuing speedy recovery. Scott and Lisa Bauer. Lowry. Oh, my. And she's a You should read what Mike made me write. Head coat ambassador, house, dirty fleets, Durmstrang Institute. Take a class in coating. You can keep the coat. <laughs> Goats are pretty smart creatures, and they can even use wands. The trick, of course, is teaching them not to eat the wand. It helps to charm them with pumpkin juice and dumb step. Just last week, I was attacked by an angry basilisk. <laughs> and might not have escaped if not for my quick thinking goat <laughs> who parted and put, and put that bas basilisk to sleep. <laughs> oh, David Reed, too? Oh my goodness. Okay. <sighs> Monica Dubio, Gryffindor. Alex, you've been through a lot lately, but there's no need to fear because you'll always have a phoenix to shed its tear. I love you, Cut. Chris Dubio, Gryffindor. Alex, I hope you get better soon. Oh, head boy and girl. And then, prefects, Susan Grasso, Sherry and Richard Atwater, Melissa Casti. Really? Oh my goodness. <sighs> Kara, I don't know how to say her last name, <laughs> but Teresa, Tom, Paul, Laura. That's the original person. So. <laughs> oh my goodness. How did you get all these people to contribute? This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, Rosie. Oh, thank you. All I had to say was that you were in trouble. Sean, you contributed to it. <laughs> Ickle firsties, please. <laughs> yeah. The scribe. Alex, no matter how you look or how you feel, I've got your back. You're the best girl I've ever met and the best girlfriend ever. Your happiness means so much to me. And I will go toe to toe with anyone or anything that challenges that happiness. Remember, you're never alone. I and everyone on these pages love you an immeasurable amount. Let's go on many more amazing adventures together. With you, I can proudly be the person I enjoy being. Thank you for being wonderful. I love you very much. Joseph Toshlop, Chronicler of Hogwarts and Magnate of Ravenclaw. <laughs> XO, 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 peeps. <laughs> so you want to open the trunk? Yes. It's locked. Alohomora. <laughs> oh, this is so pretty. Remember the beads? Well, yes, I do remember the beads. This is a weird lock. You just turn it straight up and then it works. 
Okay, yeah. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Oh, you got me one of these Griffin Rosars. I love these. Look how nice. pictures as you want because <laughs> this is this is awesome I don't care if I'm crying <laughs> dear Miss Phillips typically first-year students undergo a traditional ceremony with a sorting hat to determine their respective house placement however given your unusual circumstances we decided that it would be prudent to speed your education along as quickly as possible to assist us with the house selection process, one of our agents at St. Bungo's Hospital for Magical Maladies and Injuries, Park Ridge, Illinois Branch, was, was able to provide us with a sample of your blood for our sorting hat to analyze. Congratulations, you have been sorted. House Gryffindor, Faculty Advisor Minerva McGonagall, Prefects Sherry Atwater and Susan Grasso. Yours sincerely, Minerva McGonagall. It may be of interest to you that the sorting hat was entirely insistent upon placing you in Hufflepuff. He remarked highly of your tireless efforts in pursuing your education while working multiple jobs, and your unwavering loyalty is evidenced by your dedication to your boyfriend's birthday celebration. However, in spite of these amazing qualities, your unmitigated bravery has placed you narrowly into Gryffindor. We expect great things from you. That's my Pottermore account name. Length, 10 and 3 fourths inches. Wood, rowan, phoenix feather. Reasonably supple. This is beautiful. I love it. All in the little leaves. Immense real Tasmanian eucalyptus, also known as mountain ash, also known as rowan wood. This is awesome. This is like the coolest thing ever. I have a wand! Oh my goodness! Yeah. You have a temporary wand permit. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're expecting you to use it. <laughs> to attend even our summer remedial course, we must ensure that you still possess magical aptitude. You will find a wand enclosed with your belongings. 
Please take a moment to acclimate yourself with it, and then perform the following spells at your leisure. All spells must be performed successfully at least once before you will be permitted on campus. Once you have successfully cast all three spells, your temporary magical license will be rescinded until you arrive on campus for your summer remedial course. You may seek assistance as necessary. Basic Charm, Repair -o. Transfiguration, Transmute, Conjuration, Create Food. We can only use the Harry Potter magic. <laughs> we can't use newspapers in the hospital. So, you've got some stuff that you might need to repair. So for the last, like, what? <laughs> I don't think it works on animated objects. So for the last two weeks, I've told you not to worry about what? Clothes, okay. money, and food. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to come clean, and I'm going to let you ask questions about clothing. It's true. Um, some stuff that you lost is destroyed. So now we're actually going to look at some of the things that you lost. Oh my goodness. So this is, this is what it looked like after yeah, they got done with it. So let's start with this. <laughs> Repair! Well, it's, you gotta, gotta use the box because it's gonna amplify your powers right now. Because you are a little, you're a little uh, under the weather. <laughs> now remember, this charm involves, you have to tap the object. Yeah. Try it again. Repair. Right. See if that worked. <laughs> Give the weirdest taste. All right, this didn't work as well as I would have hoped it worked. Um, <laughs> you got the brand right, and the color is a little weird. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> so I'll tell you what, that didn't work exactly right. Let's try something else. You were also wearing these in the accident. Oh. I know you really liked these. I did. So let's see if we can try to fix these too. Look, there's a hole in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, you ready to give this a shot? It's not quite the same, but it's still cute. Oh. I hope those will fit. I hope they'll fit too. <laughs> Size five. This should work. This should work. Yes. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So now we're moving on to something that's going to be even more disturbing. Oh. You really liked these, didn't you? Oh no. So they got pretty scuffed. And they got pretty beat up. No, this one's okay. They're not bad. But this, you know, this toe is pretty bad here, right? Mm. And I know you cared about it. Now, you know I'm going to do everything I can to fix that myself. But since you've got a temporary wand permit and you still haven't quite gotten it right, you want to give it a shot? All right. Let's stick it in here. All right, ready? Repair. There you go. This is a lot closer. <laughs> um, you got the right material this time. I think you got the right size this time, but the color is off. <laughs> okay. These are pretty cool, though. Do you like Those them? Those are pretty cool, yeah. This, is, this isn't bad. I'll still wear the beat up ones, too. Well, we'll see if we can, if we can fix those the old-fashioned way. The muggle way, if you will. So what do you think of these? I like them. You like them? I don't have a pair of black boots like that, I don't think. Well, now you do. Yeah. Okay. You what, what were the other jobs? Well, you're not done with this yet. You haven't gotten it right yet. So you have to keep practicing until you get it right. Okay. Okay. Is that fair? Right. <coughs> All right. So how about oh, this? You had a hoodie on. You had a Massimo hoodie from Target. <laughs> there's really, there's really not a lot. Target. Not a lot left. It got like exploded or something. It did. Um, this one got sectum sembrad. Yes, it did. You want to try on this one? Yes. All right. Now you need to try a lot harder. Okay. All right. Because before, it was, everything you've done so far hasn't been quite right. 
So I want you to really think about this one. Okay. And give it a really good shot. All right. Go for it. Don't let me touch it. Repair. I want you repair me. All right. Okay, you tried too hard. <laughs> The, I think you managed to actually upgrade the hoodie. I don't know how you did it. This one I think is nicer than the one that you had. The color's right, the material's pretty good, but it's so much fancier. Look at that. You got a thing, got cool designs. But you still didn't get the spell right, so you have to keep trying. Okay. Not bad though. I'm gonna have you repair all of my other stuff because I want an upgrade. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's maybe the clothing isn't working, so let's let's take a, a step back. Um, well, here's some tights. You want to try the tights? Yes, let's. Try. All right, let's let's give these a shot. Um, check. You want to see something scary? Man, I was wearing a really cute outfit that day. You I were am pissed. Look at that. <laughs> see this? Wow. <laughs> yes. Thank you. You know what that is, right? Is that? That must have been... This is, this is your bullet hole. That must have been... Yeah. Alright, now this one should be pretty straightforward. Now, don't try so hard. Just just replace this one. Don't don't upgrade it. Okay. okay. Can, you, can you try that? Repair. Alright, did you, did you want to... Are you settled with that one? Did you want to try harder or less yeah, hard? I think yeah. it worked. Alright. Pretty close. The waistband's a little off, though. A little, it's, yeah. So I, I still don't think we can count this. <laughs> it's still from Target. It's still the same size. It's still the right color. It's even the same cotton polyester blend, but it's not the same. It's not the same it's not waistband. The same. It's not. So are you are you satisfied yet, or do you want to keep trying until you get it right? You want to keep trying, yeah. yeah. Okay. These things. That sucks, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, I know you're really upset about these. You want to try to fix these? Yes. Okay. All right. Let me put these in here. Okay. So. All right. Now, what color were they? Turquoise and blue. Which one was turquoise? The smaller one. Small one. Okay. As long as you got that in mind, go for it. Repair. Okay. Sure. So, wait, the bigger one was blue. Yes. I don't think it worked. Try it again. The other one's still floating around in there. Okay. Repair. Are you distracted? <laughs> uh, well, it's got the little, the, the divider things, which... It's good. All right, try it again. <laughs> again? Try it again. Okay. See what you can do. Repair. <laughs> the purple one, too. We're getting closer. <laughs> yes, closer to the blue. All right. There's one more thing that I think we should try. Um, did you see what, the, did you read the last line of, um, of, the, of your temporary wand permit that says that you're allowed to ask for assistance? Yes. Okay. Well, that's good, because so far you haven't gotten it. And this here is by far the most complicated one so far. Um, you remember this coat? Yes. I really like that coat. Do you remember when you asked if this coat had survived and we all just kind of didn't say anything and walked out? Mm -hmm. Well, so far you've been struggling a little bit, so I think we're going to try something. You know how Hagrid carries around an umbrella? Well, you remember when I met you, I was holding this? There's a reason that you started talking to me when I was playing this. Because it's not just my whistle. This is also, this is my secret wand. Okay? So let's do this, okay? And you got to wait, okay? We got a lot of support here, so I think everybody else might need to help us do this too. So does everybody uh, think you can give us a hand on this one? I think so. Yeah.
All right, everybody. Let's uh, let's see if we can get this coat back in one piece. Everybody, ready? On three. Everybody know the word? All right, here we go. One, two, three. Yes. Do you believe that this worked this time? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna hold my hand. Yes. All right, let's see if you did it. Because if you can't, if you didn't do this, you can't go. I know. All right. I want to go to Hogwarts. Oh my goodness, it's perfect. Mm. Look. It's even. You even fixed even the belt loops that I cut off. <laughs> This is awesome. It's the same material, it's the same size, it's the same brand. And it's gonna fit me. You did it. <laughs> so what's the... <laughs> oh wait, here's something else you might prepare. <coughs> that I totally just found laying around in here. Remember these guys? Oh. <coughs> that sucks, right? Yeah. I'll tell you what. Now that you got the coat right, I think you can probably do this one by yourself. Do you have the confidence to do that? Yes. Cool. Let me just wad it up in that there. Okay. Go for it. Let's see what you got. Repair. Pretty good. What do you think? I like them a lot. You like that? Yeah. That's pretty good. So what's the next spell on your list? I don't know where the list was. Oh, did I steal it? I think you did. Okay. What's next? <laughs> now we have Transfiguration, Transmute. Okay. So... Here's the thing. Do you know the inc incantation for transfiguration and transmutation? You know, I don't remember. That's okay, because I do. We're going to borrow some magic from somewhere else. We're going to borrow Britannian magic. Okay. Because that's what I specialize in. Okay. The incantation for this one is Rel Elam. Okay. Weird word, huh? Yes. So now I have to admit something that I am not proud to admit. Okay. What's that? It is something that I am very, 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 very ashamed of. Really? Well, that's interesting. Um, it's something that, uh, it's, it's really funny, but also really tragic. Okay? Do you remember when we were unpacking your backpack, and we pulled out that little glove, and I held it up like this, and I went, you. And you saw it and you went, you. Do you remember that? The little no. flat blue surgeon glove in the backpack. Oh. Yeah. And then I just said, can I throw this away? And you went, yeah. And I threw it away. Was there something in there? There was something in there. What was it? Anything you were wearing that was metal. I am responsible for throwing away all of your jewelry. I don't know if I was wearing any. I threw away your class ring. I threw away... I was wearing my class ring? I threw away any earrings you may have been wearing. And if you were wearing a necklace, I threw that away too. I, I wasn't wearing my class ring. I don't think... The surgeons told your dad in the ER that there was a ring in that glove. And you threw it away. So I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. But, let's see what we can transmute to get that back. Let's start with something simple, okay? I brought some metal. I'm going to transfigure this metal, okay? What's the incantation again? I'll remind you. Let's start with your earrings, okay? Or do you, want, earrings? do you want to start with your earrings or you want to start with your necklace? I want to start with my necklace. Okay. And if you weren't wearing a necklace, which is entirely possible, just imagine a necklace. Because the whole point is, we're not fixing anything here. We're we're doing magic, we so are, I can get into Hogwarts. We are, we are changing. Okay. Yes. Ready? So let's put this in here. 
and the imputation, if you remember, is rel elam. Okay. Some people like to say elam, but I like to say elam. This is a hard one. So to think about our methods. So think about what you really, really want, and try to transfigure that piece of metal. Rel elam. And you got it. You trust it. I had the picture in my mind. So, what were you picturing? My, um, my snitch necklace. Very, very close. It's, uh, it says Gryffindor on it. It's got an owl on it. This is beautiful. And you also must have, like, been picturing high maintenance because it came with two different cords. <laughs> in case you want to wear it with different outfits. It looks kind of like a Luna necklace. <coughs> but she's in Raven Hall, right? Yeah. Because this looks kind of like a bottle cap. A bottle cap. Yeah. I agree. She wears bottle cap necklaces. What's next? Class ring. Earrings. Okay. Class ring's pretty hard. Okay. But I have a, like a warranty on that. They can just replace it. That's something we can get off of. That's true. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Give it another shot. Think about your earrings. Val Elam. Okay. I'll trust it. Wow, fancy. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. Don't you point that thing. How do I open this? Now, do you want my implement of destruction? A derp, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's my shoe, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Super. 